Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are back inside the garage. Um, as I informed you guys previously that uh, we are going to start with the block. Well, assembling the engine. So we're going to see how far we're going to get. It is night. Uh, let's get on with the Nissan. So, yeah, luckily for us, Fifi already installed the pistons for us. It's already installed. As you can see, it's marked and everything. So, uh, yeah, we still need to do the front uh, with the oil pump. And we still have to do the back as well. Um, that we're going to do now and still have to talk the crank and the um, the connecting rods as well. Um, so once that's done, then we're going to start from the bottom side, install the oil pickup, um, do the gasket for the sump, do the, the side, everything, get that done and dusted. So uh, yeah, that would be, it's going to be awesome to finally start uh, assembling the engine. I really can't wait for that. Firstly, uh, we're going to start with the crank and the and the corn rods, uh, the connecting rods. We're going to start cranking them. I'm also going to put the specs right here so that you can go and check it out if you are building an FJ20 um, engine. So you have your torque specs as well, it just makes it a bit easier. So we're going to start with that. After we finish up with that, um, then we're going to. I'll show you what we're going to do next. So we are finally done with talking uh, the connecting rods and as well as the main bearings. That's done now. Um, so meanwhile, I'm going to start here by cleaning up this old gasket so I can get this um, done clean, everything done, as well as this side so that when, once this is done, um, we can put it back as well as the sump with the oil pickup. And then once that's done, then we can basically fit everything. While I'm going to be busy here uh, cleaning it up behind the scenes, um, Fifi is going to start with putting back uh, the half moons as well as with uh, the sprockets, everything that comes here in the front with the oil pump and the rest of those things. So uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we removed this, you still remember where everything, everything goes. Um, I'm quite excited about that. But yeah, let's get started with that. Um, let me start cleaning. And then uh, Fifi is going to start by installing this full section here in the front. So once he's done, I should also be done, then we can fit everything in the front as well as at the back, um, that plate that comes in the back and then uh, th that's done, we can put the oil pick up, we can put the sum back and then we can turn the motor around and then we can start by putting the head back as well. <laughs> Right, so we are finally done with the um, bottom part with the crank and as well as with the uh, distributor I don't know what you call this but yes for the distributor that we do not use anymore because we are running um, the aftermarket management dictator 36 minus 1 so that's done that's all done as you can see the timing marks as well uh, there's th that side that's showing at the bottom as well as here with the half moon that's showing on top and then as well on top here it's uh, TDC. I'm um, somehow going to throw for you guys here on this section here uh, so that you can see as well um, what the uh, uh, timing marks are so that you can check it from this section as well uh, out of the manual how it works. So now we're just going to start assembling it, put the front cover on. We're going to put the front cover on and then uh, once we've got the front cover on we're going to put the head casket on we're going to put the head on and then after we've got the head we're going to do the timing marks for the cams as well and then once that's done we're just going to fit the small odds and ends like the sump gasket uh, with the oil pickup and the sump so that's done as well and then it's only small things um, that's left to do so uh, yeah let's uh, finish up let's see how far we can get with uh, the rest that's remaining
basically assembled so you can basically say actually you can actually say it's a fully assembled engine uh, we still have to do a few things I mean but it's not the end of the world it's will be done soon 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 um, so uh, yeah it's not too much I just want to ask you guys a big favor please um, most of you that's watching the channel haven't been subscribed yet I mean it takes you five seconds just to hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button I'm on my way to Fifi now uh, we're gonna continue with my engine and see how far we can get uh, today we have been busy with it now for a while so I will be posting this video as soon as I'm done uh, so uh, yeah I'm gonna see you guys when we're there and then we're gonna have some fun and finish up and see how far we get and like I said guys please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it takes you five seconds to click the subscribe button and it really supports the channel as well so yeah let's go and have some fun so we're finally back in the garage as you can see um, motor is all covered up I'll show you that now in a minute um, Fifi is already, already busy with the sump gasket as you can see we're busy cutting it now we're gonna put on the um, oil pickup then we're gonna put on the sump and then I'm going to start as well with sanding down uh, the tappet cover. Um, I might start as well with the intake. I would love to get the tappet cover done and maybe the intake done as well. So we can get that on top. And then yeah, it's going to look super, super nice, super pretty. It's going to assist here quickly, get that um, on top, get that done, uh, get the sump on as well. And yeah, just get everything back together. As you can see, everything is a bit of mess, the whole place, but it's because we've been busy a lot with the car um, we've got a nice surprise coming as well this side i know it's really demo car here but yeah this golf is also going to come and show you guys something soon but yeah for now we're going to finish up with the nissan um there's the what the sump looks like now and then yeah we still have a lot of things to do not too much but at least the engine is assembled so yeah let us get finished with that first Right, so we're finally done with the whole engine well putting the engine back together as you saw now from the beginning to the end the engine now it does turn everything is sharp we've got the cams in we've got the, the, the chain in we've got the timing in as well everything is fine so all that's left to do now is basically just make it nice and pretty we still want to clean up everything um, as well as the, the tappet cover the valve cover we're going to get that clean as well get it sanded down repaint it um and then we can put that back um uh, so yeah it's not too much left to do the sump is on now as well as you can see it's nice shocking color um and then we're still gonna go with the tappet cover as well or the valve cover we're gonna make that a shocking orange maybe or shocking yellow we're not 100 sure but the whole theme of the engine is gonna be um well probably the whole engine but it's gonna be shocking orange and shocking yellow uh, just so it can stand out once you open up the the, the hood so that you can actually go and see the engine um, and then we do have that turbo there as well um, as you can see 
On the left hand side we've got uh, uh, the big housing, exhaust housing. It's uh, 83 if I'm not mistaken, or 82. And then we've got the one on the turbo itself, it's uh, 63 housing for the GT35 turbo. So uh, yeah, it's not too much. Uh, then we, all, as you can see, we still have the turbo branch there as well. We still want to go and clean up. We've got lights also going to install today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start by switching off the video now. I'm going to get the end to it. As uh, yeah, we've been busy with this engine now for about two weeks. So I want to post this video now as soon as possible, so you guys can just have an update where we are now. Um, and I'm actually really quite excited how far we've become. Um, especially now with the engine assembled, that's the least I wanted to do, just to get it back together um, and keep you guys posted as well. Because now telling you guys what's going on, it's a complete different story than to actually showing you what's actually going on. So, uh, but yeah, now you can see it's back together um, and uh, I'm really excited for this. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, especially now running a bigger, uh, well, the same turbo or a small exhaust housing. Um, I'm really uh, excited to see what it's going to do um, boost-wise and power-wise as well. I know I might lo lose a bit of bit power, um, but now we haven't reached the full potential of the engine yet. As we've only got the, t the engine to boost on 0.4, 0.5 bar with a big exhaust housing. So, but now if we're going to run the small housing, we're still going to be able to boost a lot more. Um, due to that we had a, a boost leak with, that we were not sure about so that's going to be sorted so we can at least boost the car to 1.2 1.3 bar for now and then just going to get used to that and then maybe check to uh, raise up the boost but yeah we are still not sure what's the, the plans for the engine yet in the future i mean there's a few guys that's after the engine um, i don't blame them and then yeah as well from our side getting parts for this thing is just really it's a bitch it's it's not something you can just go and get something from AutoZone or Goldwagen or Midas or anything you have to go actually go and do your research or ship the parts in so it's quite difficult so at the end of the day I might look into something else something different but yeah if I don't get my price I mean I'm gonna keep the engine I'm gonna keep running it uh, maybe just keep it low boost just to keep it nice and safe um, for in case the day comes that we have uh, a better uh, choice on the engine that we want to make but yeah this is it guys thank you for watching if you watch a full video i do appreciate it um, if you want to i've got a website wikibooster.com go and check it out I've, we've got some few products there that you can go and buy and then as well we've got a, a, a a page there as well for my subscribers so send me one of your cars or, or your car whatever on uh, 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 email at wikiboosted at wikibooster.com and then uh, what i'll do is I'll, i'm going to take your picture as well as your with your name and your full name your, your full name your name and your surname and then i'm going to post the your car uh, just so the people can see the subscribers that i've got on my on my website or well, on my channel that they can go and view it as well um, I mean, it's just basically just to say thank you for watching me, uh, especially running on my channel. I mean, we've been coming a long way now um, and we've just hit the 400 subscribers mark as well. So please, let's let's keep pushing. That's what I'm asking. Let's push uh, to see if we can hit the 500 subscriber mark. And then, uh, yeah, from there, we'll just go on and push and push and push. But for me, at the end of the day, it's not about getting subscribers. I mean, it does help but uh yeah i just want to show you guys i mean the fun that we've got sometimes it's fun sometimes you're screaming sometimes yeah it's worse but at the end of the day i mean that's what brings us all together is the car people the car enthusiasts and uh, yeah just showing you guys what we are doing i mean that's really fun for us uh, especially showing you guys what we are doing but yeah once again guys thank you for watching i do appreciate it you must have a lovely day further and god bless ciao